Welcome back to Wolf Guitars and Gear. Today we're going to be doing a mod project where we're going to be adding Lambertone Cremas to my favorite guitar, my Epiphone Les Paul Standard that I've had since 1999. It's been my go-to guitar. I've toured with this guitar. It's gone with me all over the country. I've played numerous gigs with this. One of my favorite sounding guitars of all time. As you can hear, the stock pickups sound fantastic. So there's a very high bar for these creamers to live up, A, to the hype that other people have put on them, but two, for me to prefer them to these stock pickups. So let's get going and you can tell me what you think. All right, so here's today's projects. For those of you who remember, I picked up these Lambertone pickups back on the Black Friday sale. Um, so here's where we're at. I've taken my uh, beloved uh, Les Paul. As you can see, I've taken out all the knobs already. These are the old pickups here. I've got the new pickups uh, installed. Uh, as far as being in the pickup rings. <coughs> so now as we flipped it over onto the back, so we've got uh, the neck pickup, which I've marked with the uh, tape here. Then we've got the, the bridge pickup wires and the wires from the switch. And the, the wires going to the jack, so that's already intact. So now I just have to connect everything up. In order to do that, I have this right here, which if you can see what I've got, I've got the Les Paul uh, Jimmy Page setup from 920D. Now normally I like to do all of my own wiring myself and would create my own harness, but I mean, take a look at what these guys did. It's just super clean, uh, super cool. This is a very complex wiring job. As you can see, it's got four push-pull pots. It just has a lot of potential for disaster. And the price difference between buying the parts to do it and just purchasing this was only like 30 to $40. So when you're considering the amount of swearing and the time uh, spent troubleshooting if you don't get it right. I figured it was just worth it to go ahead and buy the harness this time. So that's what I'm going to do. And now I've got to take that and put it inside here. So that's my next project. Okay, so I've got uh, everything wired up now on the harness here. Uh, the next step would be to take it off of uh, the little piece of plexi here and put it into the holes. Problem I ran into though is that these holes here are not quite wide enough for the pots to stick through. So I'm going to have to widen those out just a little bit with a drill bit, then we should be okay. I did test this uh, briefly, plugging it in, just because I know how I am with wiring. I can mess anything up, so I just wanted to check it, make sure everything's working, it appears to be. So we're going to, like I said, go the next step and get, get it actually in the guitar, and then we should be ready to roll. So here we are, here is the finished product. As you can see, I've got the Lambertone Cremas in there. Uh, I, I chose for the non-screw version because I just think that looks nice and clean. Uh, kind of a modern take on it, really sharp. Uh, you know, once again, using that, that Music Nomad oil kind of really clean this thing up. You can see a really nice shine on there. Even after 20 years, this thing still is breathtaking. We have all four knobs back on, the push pulls work upgraded jack this thing worked first time right out of the gate after i finished wiring it up like i said i kind of did a good faith test to make sure everything was going to be in good shape but when i went ahead and plugged it in everything worked perfectly so i think that speaks volumes to 920d customs and the harnesses that they make just fantastic stuff like i said certainly in this case the difference between the labor of doing it versus the results well worth the money. I would highly recommend that. As far as the pickups themselves, I'll save that for a future episode where I'm going to shoot out these cremas against several other models of pickups and let you use your own judgment to decide which ones you like the best. Are the cremas really worth all the hype that everyone makes them out to be? Or maybe can you get something similar for a lot less money? We'll let you be the judge next time. 
here on Wolf Guitars and Gear. If you like this type of content where we're talking about modding guitars and tone and various different uh, things you can do to improve the way your guitar sounds, stay tuned and, and make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all future episodes just as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks and have a great week.